Hello everyone, welcome to BMW Gallery's X3 Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle. This X3 is called the X-Drive 30E. So what that means is we've got the same 2-litre engine found in the regular 30i models with an electric motor between the engine and the 8-speed transmission and a 12 kilowatt hour battery pack underneath the trunk floor, giving a combined power and torque output of 288 horsepower and 310 pound V of torque. I've already spoken a little bit as to what a plug-in hybrid means and what the benefits are in my X5 xDrive 45e video, so please go have a look at that. But to give you the most essential details, with a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, you have a much more usable and dedicated electric range. So in the case of this X3 plug-in hybrid, BMW claims 29 kilometers of driving range that you can charge up by plugging into a level two charger in less than three and a half hours. So with plug-in hybrids, you really are getting the benefit of both worlds. If you have a daily drive of let's say 20 kilometers you can use all of that in pure electric drive but as soon as you go further than that the four cylinder will engage so that you're never going to be left stuck in the middle of nowhere and as you drive along you will also be charging up the battery by either using the regenerative brakes or the engine as a generator. Outside of the powertrain, there really aren't too many differences inside of the X3. You'll see that instead of the traditional orange hues in a BMW, they're replaced with blue motifs, giving that this is an e-drive vehicle. The driving modes in this plug-in hybrid variant aren't too different from what you would see in other BMWs, but the team at BMW Gallery will be tremendously helpful for you if you need to understand the use of the different driving modes and how you can have the most efficient or the most performance oriented drive possible. But for the cabinets, just as you should expect out of an X3, lots of great materials, really good storage space in the doors and fantastic visibility all the way around. I've personally tested out all of the other variants of the X3 in the past. So the 30i, the M40i and the X3M competition. So I'm really looking forward to getting onto the road and trying out this vehicle and seeing which one of these X3 variants is my favorite to live with. So without further ado, let's now get onto the road. So just like many other core BMW products, the X3 plug-in hybrid starts off with three different driving modes. You have Eco Pro, Comfort, and Sport. But just below those buttons, you have another button labeled as E-Drive. And these three modes that I'm about to describe can be used in Eco Pro, Comfort, or Sport. So what those modes consist of are Auto E-Drive, Max E-Drive, and Battery Hold. So if you're looking for pure electric driving and you want to use absolutely everything that that 12 kilowatt hour battery has to offer, then you'll use the Max Mode. This will just deliver electric power unless you really slam your foot into the throttle where you'll hit the kick down button and engage the four cylinder engine. In the auto mode, this will engage the battery more often, even though it will depend on the four cylinder motor a little bit more. And then finally in battery hold mode, it will essentially turn off the electrical capability of the engine so that you can keep a constant charge. So let's say you were driving down a highway and you didn't want to use up that battery power because that's exactly where it would run out the fastest. So you'll select the battery hold mode, save that charge for later so that when you are in town, like I am right now, you can have a pure EV driving experience. No matter what mode you use, no matter how you're driving your X3 plug-in hybrid, it is really quick off of the line. You get to have all the benefits of electric torque from zero essentially and then if you need the additional power the turbocharged four cylinder engine is more than enough to help you gain speed comfortably. Because the X330E is still a BMW it's a fantastic driving experience with really accurate steering, a nice ride and even though there is a particular focus on efficiency if you ever want to have a little more driving fun and use the paddles behind the steering wheel and really use that two liter engine to its maximum capability the X330 E is still a really fun vehicle to drive. So with all that said, if you want to find out more about the 30E or any of the other plug-in hybrid electric vehicles from BMW, head over to the BMW Gallery dealership. Thank you very much for watching. 
Hope to see you there soon.